welcome back my friends to another video in which I got another important subject to talk about it is mostly about black ops uh, new details about another thing about my channel and uh, basically any other updates I need to probably talk about so yeah there could be an update video or anything like that but before I get started this gameplay is not brought by me because I am not the world's greatest sniper it is presented by my little bro Ruben who if you haven't seen my last video supported this clip for me too because he said it was a good gameplay you know 32 and 13 with the sniper rifle they are some pretty good like sh no well not, I don't think he ever did no scope but there are some pretty quick scopes and all that other stuff and then, of course you guys probably didn't see it but he pulled up dual the Kimball dual FMG 9s and don't get started on him because he's using those it's a really old setup that he was using he never likes to really change his gun so yeah Alright, on to the important subject. My first update on my channel is that I have now have a newly created website. So yeah, Saturday, um Well, we went out to GoDaddy with my uh, with my other three brothers. I mean with, with my other two. And we bought a website. Yeah, he got a website and I got a website just for three dollars and I think we have them fixed in for like two years or yeah, two years. So I'm gonna put the link in the description, or probably put an annotation, but I'll, I'm sure I'll have a link in the description for you to guys check out the website. It might not be much, but uh, I hope you guys actually enjoy it. Uh, you'll see what I mean by what I mean by enjoy it. So, with that out of the way, let's do. Let's talk about another thing. So, Black Ops 2. I don't even know how I wanted to talk about Black Ops 2, but I found some important information. So, you know, I was just minding my own business, uh, watching Xbox Ahoy. Saying that you know he's got contact for uh he's got contact for uh, Modern Warfare 3, and you know I want to go on to the Modern Warfare 3 uh channel page on YouTube, and it shows right there, right big on the header, Call of Duty World Review, reveal May 1st, and it's kind of crazy because they haven't thrown up there, and I don't think anybody even knows that that's even thrown there because I haven't heard anybody talk about the website. If you actually go to the website. Like I said, I'll put that in link in the annotation, link or annotation or both, because trust me, it is weird. Um, I don't know if I can pull up an image of it, but I'll try. I don't have that hyper camera, whatever you call it, to record. But basically, when you go to the website, it will load up and it will start showing like these little screams all around, and it's got like that. In the background is like that picture that, um, see that that picture that you've seen. If I don't know if you've seen that leaked photo that from the GameStop employee that shows that. Black Ops, or well, you can't say Black Ops, but that Treyarch poster that has 5 2 2012 Return for Debriefing. It has that kind of background, then, like, it has all like these little, like, monitors. It looks like little grims that are supposed to show something, and that they're supposed to be releasing something on certain dates. So, tomorrow they're gonna be releasing something. So, I have no idea if it's a clip, picture, or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a picture. And and also on the side, there's like this weird one that's like, the camera's like all static. But like, you can kind of see something, but you can't even make it out. So, I don't even know what the hell that is. But, yeah, dude. I don't think anybody's ever covered this or anybody knows right now. Who knows? Maybe somebody will probably find out a little bit later, but... I don't think anybody really knows. And BAM, boy! Let's go! Before an IMS kills me. But yeah, you know, I'm kind of shocked by this little information. There's way, you know, this hype for freaking Black Ops 2, you know, it's kind of crazy. It's almost kind of driving me mad. So, yeah, I'm going to tune in. Well, I guess not tune in, but it says May 1st that, you know, check out the NBA playoffs on TNT, and I'm guessing that it's supposed to be a trailer, and I guess the rest of those other things I was talking about on the website, they're probably just, like, clips or something. Or, like, it probably will just, like, say something, and, like, it'll tell you, but we have no idea, and we will find out pretty soon. Just who knows how long window. <sighs> All right, let's see. I want to show the whole gameplay, but it sucks. The gameplay is about like ten minutes long, and I don't really want to cut it in half because the video starts getting good about like halfway through. Uh, let's see what else can I find. Chit chatter. So things that I have planned up for about like a couple of weeks or so. So I've been, you know, I, I I got feedback from my friends, you know, because you know they're really close with me. So you know they've been watching my YouTube videos and stuff like that, and I got recommended by my one friend saying that. Oh, you know, how come, how come you don't do single player, you know, talk about some single player, I mean, not talk about, uh, show some single player gameplay instead of multiplayer, you know, because I'm tired of seeing, you know, all this stuff, you know, bring something new to the table or something like that. 
So yeah, basically I'm probably gonna play some single or play Wow man, tongue tied today. <laughs> Bring some single player gameplay. So that basically means that like I'll probably be playing like solo campaign games like I have need for speed so I'll probably play a little bit of that. I got Call of Duty 3, I'm still trying to go for the veteran. And I, I I got Fallout 3, you know, that won't be bad to put up too, you know, it'll be like posting up rage and Hmm? Stupid bro? That was a terrible guy right there. So yeah, single player. Because oh, also to mention my Xbox Live membership really went my my, my membership already ended. And I basically plan on buying a year, probably within like the next week or so. So I could, you know, do my recommendation from a friend, you know, just concentrate on single player for my videos. And basically I'll be back at it with multiplayer, but like I said, didn't think I was ever going to post another Modern Warfare 3 video, but this is going to be the last one. I hope. Better be. Why are you standing, bro? So yeah, so basically Wednesday I plan on doing a live com. Playing some Need for Speed because I think it would just be easiest to do it on. Because I don't even think I'm gonna have an important subject to talk about. And when you don't have anything to really talk about, just do it live. It's always best. You never know what kind of reaction you're gonna get out of yourself. Alright. I don't know, you guys really seriously just don't wanna hear me talk and chit chat and stuff like that? Well, I guess I could chit chat about one more important. No, not really an important subject, just something just to get this out of the way because I don't want you guys watching the whole gameplay. Because I don't know if you guys are going to get bored after and just like, you know, exit out of the video. But, let me talk about something right here. Alright, so basically, you know, there's all those fanboys out there, you know, who say, oh, you know, Figure Wars better or no, Treyarch's better. I'm not going to lie to myself, I'm a Treyarch fanboy. I don't know, for some reason, I tend to like Treyarch games. But what I tend to notice is that what Treyarch and Infinity War have is that Infinity War could actually bring like it could probably bring a single player experience because I don't think the single player would lack anything really. Uh, Treyarch kind of does the same thing, but I think most people would probably agree on Infinity War probably having better single player campaigns. Not saying that Treyarchs are bad, but I mean like I think Infinity War will probably have bring it more to the table, and that uh, I don't know I'm gonna be like. I guess hurt, not really hurt to say this, but I guess very few people would be shocked to say this. And I kind of think that Treyarch brings some good multiplayer games. Well, and well, well, that and that they really bring new stuff to the table sometimes. And what I mean by like they bring new stuff to the tables is like if anybody has ever played Call of Duty 3, I don't know if anybody has, but if you've played Call of Duty 3, you know that there's an option where if a grenade is thrown, an enemy grenade is thrown right next to you, that you'll be able to pick it up by X and throw it back to your opponent. And then it caught four. This made a return, but it got reinvented into using just RB. And you know, Treyarch brought in zombies. You know, they brought in. Oh, let's see what else did they bring in? You know, they brought in co-op for. Uh, they they brought co-op for like story mode. Um, let's see what else. You know, they really sometimes redefine whatever. You know, they they brought a gun game, one in the chamber. Uh, I don't I don't know the rest of the other like. Uh, the wager matches were anything good. But I think some people's may could have liked those. But yeah, basically I'm just kind of saying that Treyarch does bring stuff to the table. Who knows what the heck they're bringing with the next Call of Duty games. I mean, Infinity War really... They really did a lot with Modern Warfare 3 because, you know, they're creating the whole... They're creating the whole kill streak, or kill streak system. Well, not the, well, revamping it more like it. And the ability to get points just by being helpful to your... Being helpful to your team by capturing points, destroying, sadly, turrets and sentry guns. I don't know why is that, but it is. But yeah, they totally reinvented in Modern Warfare 3, so I would be so surprised for Treyarch to bring something new to the table, but who knows? But the whole way they're trying to present Call of Duty, it seems like a new way, but let's see what kind of new items they got because Infinity War really did it this year, you know, proficiencies, uh, kill streaks, and all that other stuff. Just being all revamped. Uh, guns? Not so much. And that's also another thing too. Infinity War has always been... The reason why I say Infinity War's multiplayer is just so bad is just that... The game tends to be unbalanced for them for some reason. Like, there's always something unbalanced with them. You know, one-man army, new two. Danger close combo, you know. People would complain about the commando, you know, all that other stuff. Uh, Kimbo FMG9s. Uh, let's see what else. The shotguns are all underpowered. That Infinity War always just does something... I don't know, bad to these games. 
From Treyarch, I never really hear a lot of problems from Treyarch. Well, you know that. Maybe like a gun or two, it's like only trouble. You know, MP40, AK74U, and FAMAS. Basically, I'm just kind of trying to say that Treyarch is about mostly, you know, they're good at multiplayer and that Finny Ward is only good at single player. But at multiplayer, I, I would say Call of Duty 4 because that's where they really got it down. <sighs> Alright, guys, me just blabbering so much about myself. Well, not about myself. Me just blabbering just over 10 long videos. Signing out.